What's up guys, Sharon here, and today I have a very interesting video for you. It was both suggested and voted in my Discord server, which you should join if you want to suggest your own tutorials as well as vote for them. I'm accepting suggestions in the comment section as well though. So the tutorial we have today is called Gravity, and that's completely all I got. No context, no anything. Seriously, you guys need to be more specific. So since I don't know exactly what gravity is supposed to mean, I'm gonna give you a few waypoints on how you can make it better. Now before we begin, I want to ask you to hit that bell because there's a lot of more tutorials out there for you. And now that's out of the way, let's start with the program. So a lot of times in your animations, I see this. What is this supposed to be? An arc? Is this how blocks should be flying around? Look, I hate to disappoint you, but that's not how I do it. First things first, this thing needs at least some ease. When it gets to the top, it should be slower, not just linear and stuff. If I click the first keyframe, give it an ease out. The second keyframe, give it an ease in. This should look a lot better. Except that it doesn't. <laughs> the block stops in midair, okay? That's not okay. This is not how gravity works, and please stop doing that. Unless, of course, your block was stuck in some thick jello, then okay, then I'm then you're allowed to do that. <laughs> but our block is not stuck in a jello, okay? It's not acceptable to do what I did before. I have a much better suggestion around which this whole tutorial is gonna be based. I want to delete this upper keyframe. So currently I have this block going from point A to point B, just traveling there, rotating as it goes. Every Everything is linear, no extra transitions or anything. What's key to gravity is if I put this block in a folder, I'm gonna call the folder gravity. So what I'm gonna do in this tutorial is I'm gonna layer the motion down. So speaking horizontally, the block should always be traveling at the same speed. When it comes to gravity, it should go up fast, slow down, and then slowly speed up as it starts falling back down, which is what we need to do. So that means horizontal motion should be linear, but the vertical motion needs to be eased, right? So it goes up, bam, ease out, and then ease in till it falls back down. So gravity works like this. Once it's up there, it starts slowly speeding up, then clashes down to the ground. But in this case, the cube is supposed to go up and then down. So it should slowly stop and then speed up. This block is only moving horizontally and rotating with a linear motion. I said before that horizontal motion needs to be linear because it's not losing its speed as it's traveling, not interacting with anything else. But the gravity needs to be eased. So why not just apply the gravity to this folder here? Because if I move the folder up, the whole block moves as well. And the gravity folder is only moving up and down. So if I apply the ease to the gravity folder, the gravity is gonna be eased, but the linear motion is gonna remain linear. At this frame, we want the block to be where it is. At the final frame, oh, actually let's put a bit up so it doesn't go into the ground. So this is gonna be our final frame, but in the middle, we want this block to go upwards. All the motion here is still linear, so we get the same result as before, which I said is bad. And this is also bad. But this gravity only consists of the Y motion and nothing else. So if I ease the gravity, what happens now? Bam! This is much more realistic. Also guys, please don't do this because that's not how gravity works. That's way too freaking slow. But also don't do this because that's also not how gravity works. I would say this is a pretty realistic tempo and that's how you should keep your animations. Be careful with the tempo because the tempo is important. It's one of the 12 key principles of animation. And while we're at it, let's talk about posing because posing is important. Like, can anyone tell me what's wrong with this scene? I put Steve in two separate poses. One of them is good, one of them is really bad. Can you guess which is which? Alright, let's take a closer look at this one. And at first glance, you're like, oh, all the arms and legs are moved. It's a relaxed stance. This looks really good. Well, you would be wrong, sir. Because this is not a good stance. Why not? How is this okay? I mean, sure, he's just standing still and idle, so this doesn't matter. Well, it matters. Really matters. This Steve is barely keeping his balance. He's gonna flop forward onto his face. This is highly unrealistic. Okay, let's uh, rotate him a bit backwards. So at least the gravity part looks okay, but this is still unnatural. You know, something is still wrong with this guy's pose because the legs here, they don't have a solid contact with the ground. So it's not really supporting his stance at all, which is also contributing to the gravity. This Steve looks like he's actually standing on his legs and he has the gravity, he's well balanced. This guy is much more convincing than his left counterpart. This leg is bent, this leg is extended, so so it can actually support his weight. Both his legs are on the ground because he needs a contact, he needs to be standing somewhere. 3D animation is hard because you need to convince the audience it's all real, and realistic at least. So the gravity and the physics need to be done right. If I close the third scene and open the fourth scene, we have a similar issue here. The balance. Once again, one of them is good, one of them is bad. Let me spare you the issues and let's focus on this one first. What's wrong here? I don't see anything wrong. Yes, you do. Stop saying that. You do. Something 
something is wrong. This guy, you know what's gonna happen to this guy? This is gonna happen to this guy. Because this guy has no balance. Wait, I'm gonna animate him. This is what's gonna happen. This guy's gonna flop over. If you take a look where the central point of mass is, the most mass is concentrated in this point here. And the contact area of the feet is here. That's gonna fall over, son. If we take a look at the other one, the central point of mass is in here. And the leg is in here. Alright, yeah, it's, it's still kind of a risky one, but this guy would stand straight much longer than the other one. If you look at him from the sideways though, as well, like the center of mass would be similar here, which kind of would make him fall over, so I guess I messed up this one. This leg should be like this, if you really want a solid stand. No, no, don't mess with the other axis. This is not well balanced. Maybe from this angle, it kind of still doesn't seem too balanced, but it's way better than what we have here. I hope you understand the contents, because now I'm gonna throw all these scenes away, and I'm gonna try to animate a block falling over with the physics of the gravity, and you're gonna watch me do it, because you clicked on this video. For starters, I want to take a block. I'm gonna use a plank block so it don't overuse the dirt block all the time okay this planks should be in a folder call it gravity for now I usually just call it the same way as I called of the other one but I'm just gonna go with gravity this time so if I want to make the planks block rotate I probably need a better central rotation point because I don't want my block to be spinning around an invisible axis but itself so let's put the custom rotation point to 888 so it's in the center and the main folder should also be in the center of its mass so I'm gonna raise this up by eight so now this is my block this is how it is actually I want to position it somewhere because this is gonna be my animation altogether so the gravity is only gonna go up and down the rest of the block is just gonna go horizontally and spin because the spin is also linear it always rotates the same way so I want to make my block fall one useful tip before you start I just cut this mid sentence because I need to say this imagine the block falling in your head to see how long it's gonna take for the block to actually hit the ground I want my block to hit the ground at 10 because that seems like a realistic tempo so just move it horizontally, not vertically, only horizontally, and just mess with the rotation values because this doesn't matter at the moment. And then move the folder block downwards until you actually get a point of impact. And then the gravity should slowly be applied. So this is gonna be an ease in. If I play this, yeah, the, the block looks like it's falling down. The tempo is realistic, but I think the spin is a bit too much, unless you want really quirky and uh, decrease the spin a bit. I can hear my accent now. This is a realistic block falling, but now that I messed the, with the rotation, I should probably adjust the whole gravity thing. That's yeah, close enough. Let's not be too perfectionist. What am I saying? <coughs> oh, this water is not good. The block is falling from this direction, and it's spinning in that way. You gotta think, what would the block really do? The block would turn like so, face first into the floor. Actually, no. It would rotate like this, but ah, I need to get this face downwards. You see, this seems okay. I need to get this corner down to the ground, because that's how the block would react. Okay, so I'm rotating these other two axes until I get it right, so this. The block hits the floor, bam, and rotates down to hit this one. So the gravity is once again gonna be eased, so I'm just positioning this until it hits the floor there, and the gravity is gonna be eased in again, and this block is gonna be physically moved until it actually looks like jumped off from this corner here, because this corner needs to be in the same place as the contact point was before. So let's do this real quick. Curse my perfectionism. All right, there we go. See, the corner is like literally in the same place between those both frames. If I play this, it looks like the block actually made a solid contact with the ground, and now it's gonna bounce off again. So it's now hitting the floor with this rotation. Uh, rotation here. Actually, it's not completely right. This is where it was, this is this one, so maybe. 90% of animation is just adjusting stuff. Alright, so this happens. Uh, okay, yeah, this looks awkward because it just rotates around something, it doesn't go straight to the point. But this is literally just one frame, no one's gonna notice this in your animation, so bam, this looks pretty good. So the block should start rotating in this direction, but also slightly to the left, like slightly in this direction. So it's like this, look, bam, uh, more to the left. That's it, I got my rotation right. So based off the previous speed and the angle at which I hit, you can see in which direction it would usually bounce off. If you're having problems, you can watch reference footage. Reference footage is the best thing. You can watch gravity simulation. There's a ton of videos out there. Even play it in slow motion to see how that plank would bounce off the ground, you know what I mean? But it was flying from this direction and now it needs to go 
and the gravity here should be adjusted. Now it's getting harder and harder because I'm far away now, but you can help yourself if you like add a camera here and go closer into the folder so you can have smaller movements and the camera there serves as your eye what's happening there. That's a small trick. This block was now bounced off. It had a lot of speed and rotation here, but then rotation here is slower, which means the block would bounce higher. Energy needs to go somewhere. Now, that's not too bad. Also, this might be a bit faster because... And this bounce in between probably needs to be a bit slower, so it's more... But that's too slow. Mmm, we gotta do something about this here. It's like this. I'm bothered by the fact that this bounce is not visible. What if I try to make a little trick here? If I move this further out, although the corner would not be in the same place, but it would look like it actually... Yeah, look, look, looks better. So what happened here, the block had a lot of speed, so when it hit the floor, it starts sliding a bit. Like, it's like a small jump, because you have a lot of speed, you're not really gonna keep a solid contact with the floor. This is gonna have to do for now. And now the block is hitting the floor with these speeds. This corner here is what messes everything up, so like, although this should still spin more in that direction, you know, like... The Look, this is much more realistic now. It's still not the best because the rotation still doesn't match exactly what's supposed to happen. You can add smaller frames in between to adjust the motion here. Plus, if you don't like where all this is going, you can just rotate it a bit upwards because that slight rotation is not gonna be a problem. So I wanna try something else. I want to make this block pick itself up like this. Uh, no, this corner should be down. And if I just make the rotation like really eased out so like this, this does kind of look like the block is just gonna trip over something, so that's a plus. Again, I'm gonna add a camera here just so I can see what's going on, because it's sometimes tedious to work with these folders here. And if someone knows a better way to check this, please let me know in the comment section, because it is a pain in pain. This is where the folder would flop down, but like this. Bam, it flops down, and this should instantly go up like so. Even more, like this. Bam, bam. But it shouldn't stop too much. That's why we need a second folder. Call the folder third one or something. Because as it hits the floor, the block should still be moving outwards. It should not stop because it should still be sliding a bit. And this rotation here should be less eased and faster. Maybe more eased. Just go with the gut feeling, as I always say. Yeah, okay, so this speed is what I'm going for. I'm gonna make adjustments along the way, don't worry. But this is what we have right now. This stop in rotation is too much. This is where my animator has an issue, because all I have is an ease out and then an ease in. Is there a way to just ease the motion slightly but not stop it entirely? Because this part here with the slide looks kind of awkward. Fourth folder, anyone? <laughs> I'm gonna stay with this one because it does kind of look like a slide, you know? So I'm gonna drag this out a bit further and then this bounce here is gonna go down back to the floor. It's not easy. It's really not. This is gonna be an ease in. This is the primal point of impact, so like this is the first time a folder actually needs to go down. I'm going into the micro details now. And at this point, this block should start rotating in that direction, which would cause it to go that direction. Okay, for real now, I'm just gonna add a camera here and I'm gonna keep it here, so I can work from this angle here. Now, like this. So anytime a corner touches the ground, I'm gonna adjust the position from now on. This is how the block should turn now. I'm gonna adjust it first and then I'm gonna, okay, so the Y, the up and down needs to be adjusted with the folder, the rest is just adjusted with the block itself, so this is gonna be an ease in again. There's a lot of ease ins to the gravity here. I'm gonna adjust the position. You need to adjust the position way more carefully than I am, like look at this. I don't like this slide at the beginning here, maybe I can fix it. <laughs> okay, this doesn't look too bad. This is where the everything should align, so this should be on minus 270. This should be exactly on 540. And this is just gonna turn a bit slightly in that direction because it still had motion from before. Adjust the up and down first. And now if I adjust the positions again. All right, so this should be it. 
Not too bad. I don't like the beginning though because I used the wrong method because all my tutorials are improvised. I'm coming up with stuff along as I go. So I don't like this part too much and the slide here. At this point, I figure out a better method that every time any other corner or edge touches the floor, you need to adjust all other positions because we don't have the custom curves here in my meter. So this. This first one, I think this one is too fast, so like this. No, no, no this one is too fast, so this one is gonna be one frame backwards. Like. Yay! This is better. So first off, the tempo needs to be good. This last part I like, so this part I like from, from this point onwards, this is what I like because it does look like it's affected by gravity, but this part I don't like too much. And this slide, this part here is really something I don't like. I really want to fix the minor issues that I have right now. And then this block needs to be adjusted back to that point. Okay, so I need to adjust the gravity again. And this time it's going up, so this should be an ease out. And this block needs to be positioned back on the same place like all the other ones are okay so I'm gonna now want to put it back to that point because that's a pretty big slide how did I let this one slide this one or this one forward if I watch this part again the camera f further away like stop making keyframes I just want to watch okay now this one is also too fast so this one should also be one frame slow I guess now it's a bit too slow you know what I mean just put this one here oh now it's actually perfect Although, this part should still not just go straight back, but still, look, it's okay, I'm not too satisfied like I'm usually not, but then again, it's pretty decent so far what we have here. So take note, gravity is an important thing when you're doing stuff. But yes, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you've learned a thing or two, and um, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Again, I really wish I could do this better, but I don't have enough time in tutorials. I'm gonna start live streaming pretty soon, you might expect a live stream in a few days, I'm gonna do either the fixed version of the gravity with some more awesome scenery and stuff, or the sword fight. Let me know by voting on the eye in the corner what you want to do, sword fights or gravity. I'm gonna stream in a few days. And in the stream, I'm probably gonna be able to take more time to explain all this than in a tutorial, which I have to rush it. So stay tuned. Now for real though, thank you for watching and stay sharp.